Hello and welcome to Jira workflow tutorial and in this tutorial we'll go through a bit in detail about the workflow that I created in the last tutorial and see what all issues might happen in this workflow. Now if you see this particular workflow you have certain statuses and then there are certain transitions. So as you can see that I can move issues from open to in development, from in development to testing, from testing to complete or reopen. But once the issue is in reopen, it cannot transition from reopen to anywhere else, right? Because there is no transition from reopen to either in development or to done. So we need to fix that. And to fix that, what we'll do is we'll just uh, do a bit of uh, clean up here and all right I will just move it like this now from reopen so once the issue has been you know like um, development complete and then the issue is moved to testing um, and the testers are doing the testing and if testing gets passed then they just move it to complete or to review depending on what uh, if you want to have another status there uh, as per your project requirement or if testing failed they might reopen the issue now from reopening once the issue has been reopened it needs to be picked back to the development right so we need to have a transition from reopen to the development as well so let's add that particular transition as well all right so from reopen to I'll say back to development and just add right so now you can see that once the issue has been open then it can be pulled into the development then from development developer once developer is done with the development work he can push it to testing if testing passes the issue gets done if testing fails then the issue gets reopened now from done there is nothing no um, transition at all so once the issue isn't done you cannot move it back so the the best thing is to have the bi-directional transition um, uh, but it depends you know like whether you need a bi-directional transition or if, if uh, you do not or your project stakeholders do not want people to move the issues back to uh, any other state if the issue has been marked as done uh, but if you are having a bi-directional transition it gives you a bit of flexibility to um, you know move the issues around uh, different states so I'll what I'll do is I'll um, just add you know uh, the bi-directional uh, transitions uh, in all these scenarios so what I'll do is I'll just quickly add a transition from in testing to in development as well and then say back to development just in case there is um, a possibility that uh, the developer has marked the story as done or uh, completed and moved to in testing but when tester uh, started uh, testing the sanity itself failed and he has to move it back to the development so this this transition will allow you to do, do that uh, once the testing has start then started then it can be you know like reopened and if you want you can have a transition from reopen to in testing as well and then similarly from done to in testing so this is um, you know like the very basic workflow that we have created which we'll use in the further upcoming tutorial now to understand a bit more uh, stuff on this if you click on um, this checkbox it will show you all the transition labels and then if you click on add transition then there is an option here of the screen which is basically the transition screen right so if you define any transition screens in the um, screen section then you can select those screens and those screens will appear once the issue is moved from one status to another status right we'll cover that transition scheme uh, screens as well as part of this tutorial now the second thing is reuse a transition so for example um, you can reuse an existing transition so for example from status done to in testing if you if I want to um, have 
an existing transaction to reuse I can just say add a existing transition and then I have this bi-directional transition available here right so I can move a, a issue from in testing to done as well as backwards from done to in testing because now I have the bi-directional uh, transition available um, similarly here we can add transition from um, reopen to back in testing so which gives us a flexibility or maybe we'll just re uh, re use so reopen to in testing and then just use the same transition to in testing right so this transition in testing is being used everywhere so any uh, from any state you can move it back to um, in testing so that pretty much uh, completes the uh, the workflow or the sample workflow that we'll be working with and in the next tutorial we'll um, start with some of the advanced concepts of the workflow hope you like the video please do share and subscribe thank you for watching